Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. This article was published about an hour and a half ago, a little under that. So this is somewhat breaking news. Uh, I haven't read through the full details as yet. We can have a look through that together. I think I may play a short video in a moment. I have not seen the video. Um, so this is in regards to a tragic event, what appears to be a domestic terrorist event. The headline tells us that a terror on the streets of Berlin a car mounts the pavement and plows into the crowd beside a church, killing at least one person and injuring 30, 30 wounded, uh, as a car drove into a crowd of shoppers in Berlin. Um, so the car mounted the pavement and drove 600 foot before hitting a shop. Uh, police say the driver has been arrested but have refused to say whether they believe the incident was deliberate. Hmm, let me think for a moment. It drove for 600 foot, it mounted on the pavement. The article doesn't say the article mounted on the pavement and then it went back on the road, it doesn't say that. The article doesn't say that it crashed into other vehicles or bollards or such in order to slow itself down, no. It says it repeatedly mounted the pavement and drove 600 foot. So, yeah, I mean, come on, guys. That's a domestic terrorist attack. At least one person has been killed and up to 30 have been injured after a car plowed into crowds near a church in Berlin this morning. A silver Renault Twingo drove into people on Rankestrasse, a street packed with shops and cafes in Western Berlin that is overlooked by Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church at around 10.30 a.m. local time Wednesday. The car repeatedly mounted the pavement and drove around 600 foot through crowds before crashing through the front of a perfume shop here. And there is the car. It says a uh, Renault Clio there. I'm quite sure. So maybe it's called a Twingo elsewhere in uh, Europe or America. Um, officers say the man has been arrested, but did not say what for. Well, how about murder? How about domestic terrorism? How about attempted murder times 30? They, the police also refused to say whether or not they believe the crash was deliberate or an accident. It's one fuck of an accident if it is, isn't it? The crash happened just yards from where an Islamist extremist killed 12 people at a Christmas market in 2016 by ramming them with a stolen van. Well, I've got to ask, where are the bollards then? Where are the bollards? Uh, you know, you should have bollards, uh, big rocks or made out of concrete, however it happens to be, to stop cars from leaving the road and mounting the pavement. Um, this is the same place that 12 people were killed in 2016. What the fuck are you thinking, guys? I'm not trying to be too facetious here, but uh, the Berlin Berlin councillors, they've got questions to answer here. Why didn't they have better protection for pedestrians, given they've witnesses, witnessed a similar extremist attack back in 2016? A witness said that the car came down onto the pavement, then has come onto the road over there, has hit somebody then has gone down the road and come back onto the pavement and gone through a bunch of people and then right into a storefront window. And that's no fucking accident, mate. That's no fucking accident. Either that's a domestic terrorist attack or the guy, the driver, um, was suffering some kind of med medical incident. I guess that's possible if they had lost complete control. Uh, but uh, if they had control of the vehicle, that was uh, a domestic terrorist attack, in my opinion. Let's watch this short video. We won't watch all of it. Um, let's have a look. So uh, my friend Mikey K told us to sit by a tree just in case anything else happens because it's something that's between us and any other vehicles that may come. Um, it's really pretty bad, guys. Um, there's over where we are here... There's uh, a lot of police, there's a dead body in the middle of the road, and then over here there is uh, all of the um, emergency services that are uh, 
trying to help victims and people. There's a lot of people walking uh, with limps and injuries. Uh, the If I'm pointing to you uh, from the road up there, the car came down onto the pavement. We had dinner in that restaurant last night. The car came down onto the pavement, then has come onto the road over there, has hit somebody, then has gone down the road and come back onto the pavement down that down that way and come back onto the pavement and gone through a bunch of people, gone through the photograph that I posted uh, of a, a cafe and then right into a storefront window. Um, but it, the police presence is unbelievable. They are um, clearing out the area, but they, it was cordoned off. I heard the the bang and the crash when I was we were in a store and then we came out and we just saw the carnage. And there's helicopters coming in now to airlift people. So I'm going to let you see this, then I'll I'll get back to you. Okay, so that's John Barrowman. He's an actor. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. Clearly in shock, and. Um, yeah, I mean, from his description there, this car was all over the place. It was all over the place. It seemed like it was, I mean, it says 600 foot, but the way he described it, it seemed more than that. Uh, you know, I, I don't really know, but it it seemed like the car was being controlled. I mean, that's that was my interpretation. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I mean, pretty sure we're going to find out that this is a domestic terrorist account, or perhaps I'm giving too much credit to the authorities perhaps i'm giving too much credit to the media perhaps we won't find out perhaps it will be known but it won't really be discussed the details perhaps may not be fully released um i don't know that's my feeling i, I feel that um i feel that in this day and age the year 2022 we don't i mean you, you look at all these organizations that complain about misinformation youtube being one of them but do they give us the real information no basically they don't um yeah i i've got to be careful with my words but i'm gonna say i'm gonna be vague with what i'm saying and those that are in the know will gather my meaning um but in the media, when we're when people are reporting on crimes, I shouldn't say we. I'm not reporting on crimes. I'm just like reading through an article or two. Um, but when people report on crimes, they pick and choose. I mean, I'm sure there's a number of factors as to why they pick and choose. Some of them are going to be, well, what does the market want? Do people want to read about this crime? That's part of it. Another part of it is the authorities be that the government, be that the police, be that the media owners, whatever it is, they declare um, what is palatable for the readership uh, and what is not palatable. And they do make decisions not to release certain information, not to discuss certain topics, just have, you know, talk about it for a short while and then let it move on and be forgotten about. Um, when, I'm going to say, uh, details within a given situation don't match the narrative. Um, and I don't know. I mean, we saw we saw the domestic terrorist attack which happened in Warcheska. Am I right in the pronunciation of Warcheska? It was a while back, but in America, uh, the scumbag that drove through the parade. I can't remember the full details, but several were killed. Was it half a dozen? Was it a 13? including children that were dragged under a car for a long way. Um, and that was given media coverage, but not for a very long time, like a couple of days. And that was a, I would say, in my opinion, a particularly gross domestic terrorist attack. And um, it was not given due attention by the media, in my opinion. And by the way, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm not an expert at this, I'm just doing what I do and having the thoughts that I have but that's my feeling here already the initial report is playing down the potential for it being a purposeful domestic terrorist account, uh, attack it's playing it down 
oh, we, we don't know if it was purposeful or not. Well, how, what the fuck do you think it was? What do you think someone has an accident and just carries on driving and drives onto the pavement into groups of people? That's an accident. No, that's not a fucking accident. The only way that could possibly be an accident is if the, the person involved had um, some kind of serious medical episode. Um, but, I mean, that's just not plausible. The, the, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, I don't know, waddles like a duck, it's probably a duck. And this, to me, is a duck. This is a domestic terrorist account, in my uh, attack, rather, in my opinion, in my speculation. I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Of course, full condolences to um, all of the injured, uh, the family of the deceased. Um, we hope the investigation figures things out. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they have already. I'm sure they know exactly what happened. Um, there's going to be all kinds of CCTV footage. It will be easy to ascertain if it was purposefully driven or not. They'll know whether or not the driver had a medical episode. They'll be able to, They'll know everything by now. Uh, I think the real question is, what are they going to tell us? I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. If I've done a half-decent job, please do like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to thank you very much for your time.